Guys, scientists are worried about a um, beautiful area in the U.S. It's a large area, the Sierra Nevada, and geologists are ringing the alarm because something is happening there. I mean, think about Lake Tahoe, for example. There's signs that the Earth's crust is peeling underneath the Sierra Nevada. You might want to ask, what is peeling? Maybe you have seen one of my previous videos where I explained a crust delamination and yes you hear me right it's peeling and what does that mean if the crust is peeling for magma that could be underneath so it is moving there and geologists detect alarming signs that the crust is peeling there so first of all which area are we talking about which large area are we talking about the Sierra Nevada is not a desert in Nevada. I've heard many people say that. It's a major mountain range of Western North America in the US and it's running along the eastern edge of California. And it, its great mass may, basically lies between the large central valley depression to the west and the basin and range province to the east. And it's extending more than 250 miles. That's roughly 400 kilometers northward from the Mojave Desert to the Cascade Range of Northern California and even Oregon. So the Sierra Nevada varies from about 80, 80 miles wide at Lake Tahoe, for example, to about only 50 miles wide if you're going further south. And if you look at the magnificent skyline and the spectacular landscapes, it's one of the most beautiful physical features in the United States and biologically it's home to the largest trees in the world, the giant sequoias. So it's a, a, an important area of the western US and it has year-round facilities. It's a magnet for winter activities, for summer activities from California, but also from out of states, out of country. But of course, the inhabitants of California, they use it as their recreation place, uh, especially the large urban areas. And it has also, and that's important, it's a very, very ultra, very important source of power and water. And a lot has happened in the past there from logging to mining and that has significantly changed the landscape and now tourism is the main thing. So the Sierra Nevada is an asymmetrical range with its crest and high peaks range from 11,000 to 14,000 feet. So that's 3,350 meters to 4,270 meters. So that is really tall above sea level and Mount Whitney is at 14,494 feet, 4,418 meters and it's the highest peak in that area and the summits in the northern portion are lower those north of lake tahoe reaching altitudes of only seven to nine thousand feet and what are they made of much of the rock is granite and heat and pressure altered sedimentary rock it's left it's all that is left from once an extensive sedimentary basin and some large areas of extrusive rock, especially from Lake Tahoe northward, northwards can be found there. And at the northern limit of the Sierras, these rocks merge with the volcanic rocks of the Cascades. So if we just summarize the geology, because that is important when we want to know what's going underneath, what this delamination process can do. The Sierra Nevada is an upfaulted, tilted block of the Earth's crust. It's There's a major fault zone, bounced blocks to the east, and along this fault line, it was that 
a great mass that became the Sierra Nevada was uplifted and tilted westwards. So this explains also how asymmetric this range is. And when this massive block was uplifted, although this massive uplift began like many millions of years ago, most of it only occurred in the past two million years. So why are the scientists ringing the alarm bell? Seismologists have long studied the earthquake patterns in California, and they have uncovered an extraordinary evidence of a very rare geological process deep beneath the Sierra Nevada mountain range, and it's known as lithospheric foundering. This is a phenomenon. It involves the Earth's rigid outer layer detaching and sinking into the mantle below. That's the delamination process. And new findings suggest it's actively happening today. It's unfolding today. It's delaminating and then it's sinking into the mantle of the earth. And what is revealing this deep hidden process are deep lying epicenters of earthquakes. So the discovery began when a seismologist, Deborah Kilp, works for the Institution of Oceanography, noticed an unusual pattern in decades of California's earthquake data. So in central regions of the Sierra Nevada, she identified earthquakes that occurred at depth of 20 to 40 kilometers. So far deeper than the 10 to 18 kilometers that are typically observed in Northern and Southern California. So twice as deep. So this anomaly has of course raised her interest and has sparked collaboration with another researcher, Vera Schulte Pelkum, a geophysicist at the University of Colorado Boulder, who was already examining unusual rock deformations in the same area. So the overlap between these two scientists, between the findings of these two scientists and of Vera Schulte Pelkum's rock analysis, that became the foundation for a more comprehensive investigation. And that's why we're talking about this today. So they looked at what is happening beneath that mountain range, the Sierra Nevada. So they have done some imaging of the Earth's interior, and that has confirmed a active crustal peeling. They have used receiver function analysis. That is a seismic imaging technique that basically interprets how waves travel through different layers of our planet. And the researchers have mapped a significant structure underneath the Sierra Nevada, where the waves were traveling in a different way. And their analysis has revealed that the lithosphere there is actively peeling away. And th this is a process that previously had only been theorized in this region. They didn't have proof. So these findings have basically confirmed earlier speculation that the dense lower part of the lithosphere had already separated in the southern Sierra Nevada millions of years ago. So now the evidence shows that the central Sierra Nevada is undergoing the same transformation, while the northern part of the range has yet to show such signs of activity. So far, they haven't found any evidence there. So this delamination process is driven by the, the density differences in the Earth's layers. So basically what the researcher says, to make it sit higher in the first place, you have to get rid of some of the dense stuff. So foundering effectively removes the dense material by pulling it downward into the mantle, and that allows um, lighter crustal layers to remain at the surface. 
So the Sierra Nevada's mantle is changing its shape. The seismic images that they conducted revealed that a distinct layer at a depth of roughly 40 to 70 kilometers within the Earth's mantle is showing characteristics that gradually shift if you move northward. So in the southern Sierra, this layer appears already fully detached. And in the central part of the range, it's still ongoing, indicated by deep quakes that are happening there and rock layers with stripe-like deformation. And this deformation resembles colored clay being compressed until the spots become lines. And where are these deep earthquakes coming from? They may result from crustal cooling that is caused by the downpulling of this material. Because the rock adjusts its temperature slowly, so colder, pulled down crust can remain brittle enough to fracture. And even at depth where typically earthquakes are happening. So why is this important? This lithospheric foundering offers insight into the formation of continental crust. What the experts are saying is, quote, we sort of owe our existence on land to these processes happening. So this tectonic activity is the one reason why lighter materials remain near the surface, creating the land masses that we live on. Wow. So through this peeling process, though this peeling process is extremely slow and invisible if we're standing on the surface, um, it definitely leaves long lasting geological fingerprints. And scientists believe that the Sierra Nevada Southern segment finished its foundering episode roughly three to four million years ago already, with the central section still active. It's still geologically active. And this phenomenon may not be exclusive to only California. So the Andes in the South American region are considered another likely candidate for this process. And Venus, <laughs> despite its lack of plate tectonic, also shows signs of a similar deep mantle behavior. So there are ongoing debates about the origin of certain mantle anomalies beneath California's Great Valley. Some researchers attribute them to lithospheric foundering. Others are saying it's a result from subduction where one oceanic plate dives beneath a lighter continental plate and there's another geologist, Mitchell McMillan from Georgia Tech. He was not involved in this current study. He says there are really two competing theories to explain all these data. And you don't really get that very often in geology. So basically what's happening in the Sierra Nevada, it's land is being created through lithospheric foundering in the Sierra Nevada mountain range, but it also includes Yosemite National Park. So guys, I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please leave this video a like, share it with your friends. If you want to support the channel any further, I have a Buy Me A Coffee site, buymeacoffee.com slash silky. The link is in the description of this video. Or become a monthly member, a supporting member. You have a lot of behind the scene videos only for members. So check out the link in the description or click the join button. Thanks for supporting this channel through all of that, through the supers here on, on YouTube. Thank you so much. Stay safe, stay interested, and uh, come back to this channel. I see you very soon. And in the meantime, if you're bored, if you want to see more, check the videos in the end screen. Bye-bye.